All right, welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Let's talk about the Black Stars of Ghana. Who becomes the next coach for Ghana Black Stars? We are still waiting for the next coach to be announced by Ghana Football Association. Um, yesterday, I brought you an update that according to Ghana Football Association, they say that over 60 coaches have applied across the globe. Many are from Europe and also South America. But the question is, when will the next coach be announced? According to the spokesperson, he says that by the end of the month, possibly, we may get to the next coach for the Black Stars of Ghana. But I think it is long overdue. But um, I'll also be talking about Coach Chris Sheeting. According to another update, which I have been seeing, and the story I've been following for days, I've told you that I wanted to bring you updates on him, but I just wanted to follow some kind of story. And um, everything is indicating that the coach might be heading away from Ghana. He might be returning to England to coach a club in there. Which club could be that? Let's talk about the details here on this channel. Then the former Blasters coach, Kwesia Pia, has also revealed that he will apply for the next coach for the Black Stars of Ghana. Um, the sports person said that no Ghanaian coach have applied yet, but he says that he will apply. We'll check it out. Then according to other reports coming in, the Ghana Black Galaxies team are yet to also receive their bonuses after qualifying for Chan 2022. is going to be played in 2023 in Nigeria starting tomorrow. Let's talk about these details and more. Before then, can you drop us a like? Please like the video after liking. Make sure you smash the subscribe button to join the family. If you haven't, put on the bell on all for more updates on this channel. Also, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. I think the Ghana Football Association has delayed too much for naming the next coach for the Black Stars of Ghana. So let's begin from there. I think, one, the GFA has delayed because um, according to Coach Otoado, he says that when he was appointed, he told the GFA that after the World Cup, he's not going to be the next coach for the Black Stars of Ghana. So what was the GFA doing about it? I think over nine months, close to 10 months on his appointment, and he made it known to the FA that he wasn't going to be the next coach. So what were they waiting for? After Qatar 2022 World Cup, when Ghana we went there, things did not go on well for us. We won one match out of the three, losing to Portugal and also Uruguay and winning against South Korea. Three points was not enough for us to qualify from our group H. And the coach, Otto Ado, decided not to continue, even though he had said that he would love to one day return and coach the Black Stars of Ghana. According to him, because of family issues and also the work that he was doing at Dortmund, they gave him six months period to come and help the Ghana team prepare the team for the World Cup. And the Ghana Football Association, according to the spokesperson, he says that over 60 coaches have applied across the globe. Many are from Europe and also South America. Now the question is, which coaches are they? We've heard a lot of names, the likes of Thomas Tefier, Thomas Tukar. We have also heard about Stokovic, a lot of the names. But our own coach Chris Shooting, I say our own because he's a Ghanaian. You know, according to the GFA spokesperson, he says no Ghanaian has applied for it. So does it mean that coach Chris Shooting is also part? Well, about five days ago, I started following the story of coach Chris Shooting traveling to England. And as he went to England, he went to watch Swindon Town's game. Swindon Town is a team which is actually suffering in the um, EFL. Um, that is some League 2 particular season. Swindon Town isn't really doing well at all. And they are now in search for a new coach. I've already read a lot of articles that Coach Chris Sutton might love to continue coaching in England. That is after last year, he was sacked from Nottingham Forest. And I actually um, chanced on one writer which indicated that Coach Chris Sutton might return to England. I'm not saying it is, but this is a news, a development that I'm actually following. That is why I'm bringing you this update. According to them, it's a coach creating team for shock new job after Nottingham Forest sack. Um, that is the latest Nottingham Forest news from the Nottingham Forest share line. According to them, they said that a former Nottingham Forest boss Chris Hitting, um has emerged as a shock candidate to replace Scott Lindsay at the two side Swinning Town. The 64 year old. Um, spent just over a year at the city ground before being relieved from his duties after Forest West starts to a season in 108 years. Chris Hitting later joined the Ghana national team as a technical advisor and was recently present for their World Cup campaign in the summer. 
having left Forest 16 months ago after being replaced by Steve Cooper, Hilton is being taped to return to English football. Swindon are looking to appoint a replacement for Lindsay, who has left um, to take charge of Crowley Town. And um, they continue to say, according to um, their report, Hilton ranks at the top of the list on becoming the next coach for the club that is Swindon Town in there. They continue to also bring some or re review a lot about Coach Chris Hilton speaking on possible return to England. According to them, they said, speaking about a potential return to the dugout, Hilton previously said, I have still got a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of energy, and I see myself always doing something. I can't see myself not working. So according to Chris Hilton, he sees himself to do something. He can't just see himself just sitting down and not doing anything. They continue by saying, once you take on a management role, you don't think there is not enough stability in what you are doing. If that's the case, football management is the wrong business for you. And that is not going to change. The ownership of clubs is different these days. It attracts huge businessmen and they want success quickly. So that is also according to what um, Coach Chris Hitting said. Now, not only this, there is one particular, um, you know, uh, man on Twitter who actually follows everything on Stranding Town. He spotted, or according to his report, Coach Chris Hitting was spotted last week at Stranding Town's home match that he went to actually watch them. And he continued to actually tell us more, saying that Coach Chris Hitting actually turned down an offer given by Swindon Town, saying that um, he needed some board members to be changing and the other stuff. And all these things are telling us that possibly Ghana might lose Chris Hitting to become the next coach for the Black Stars of Ghana. And I think, you know, I, I see it to be so because the Ghana Football Association hasn't shown anything that they want to give the job to Coach Chris Hitting. That is what I think. Because um, before we even appointed Coach Otoado, many knew that Chris Hitting was the favorite. If you want to compare the experience of Coach Chris Hitting to Coach Otoado, Chris Hitting taking um, um, that is um, Brighton of Albion from the championship, making sure they qualify for the EPO, coming in to set records. He is one man that they can never take his name out of the records of Brighton of Albion. And now, Chris Hitting was in Ghana. Ghana had the opportunity to employ him as the next coach, but we never gave it to him. He was made the technical advisor, but after that technical advisory role, I think Ghana should have just called him, sat him down, let him bring out his plans. If it is good for us, we take him to be the next coach for the Black Stars of Ghana. But here we are, new um, documents have been opened for coaches to apply across the globe. And everything shows that Chris Hitting might not be given the job. That is what I think. So he is also in search for a new job. And I've heard a lot of things from the um, you know, English League One size championship are all showing interest in Chris Hitting. But let's just wait and see on how things will actually go. But I've been, I've been just following this story and I just decided to share it with you. Do you think Coach Chris Hitting can coach the Blasters of Ghana? Personally, I think yes, but I don't also see the GFA giving the job to him. That is what I think. Maybe he might apply as part of the coaches, then they might give it to him. And that is also an update coming in. Now, before you move on um, to the last story on Black Galaxy, let's talk about former coach Kwesia Pia. He has also revealed that he will apply for the next coaching job of the Black Stars of Ghana. Yes, he was interviewed by him. That is Abdullahi, um, who works with Joy Sports. And um, according to him, Abdullahi Nabila actually asked him whether he was interested in applying for the next coaching job for the Black Stars of Ghana. He said that he's open to coaching. That is the job he wants to do. And he will finally apply when he was pushed to the wall. So let's just enjoy that from Coach Kwesi Apia. Once I've not come out, and so, coach, it's a matter of do Ghana, Ghanaians think that what I did before, or looking at the track records, they think they can get something out of me. Or I also think, okay, if given a chance, I can also bring something on board. And if they think it will help the nation in future, then so, so be it. If the FA opens up for coaches to apply for the Black Stars coaching job, will you apply? Is that what it means? Uh, as I said, it depends. On, <laughs> <laughs> it depends on how they put it out there. If um, I think it's enti enticing, then automatically. Will you apply? Um, it depends. It depends actually. 
<laughs> Coach just wants to answer that question. <laughs> oh. You see, that question is broad. Yeah. And is but would you apply for the Black Stars coaching job? Yes, no. Oh, if they put it out there, uh, uh, maybe. <laughs> Coach, yes, no. I want a yes or answer. <laughs> will you apply for a Black Stars coaching job? Yes, no. Oh, if they put it out there, I will, I will apply. You will apply. Mm. All right, so that is from the former coach for the Black Stars of Ghana. I think he has coached twice the Black Stars of Ghana, and he is also one man that many things that he's really bold to make decisions. If you can actually recall when he took the captaincy, I um, mean, you know, that time, in fact, he was the man taking a lot of decisions in there. He says that he will apply for the next coaching job. That is if it is open, and now it is open. Therefore, we are, we are actually looking for that he will apply before they close that docket in there. Now, according to other reports coming in, which is actually brought to us by Ghana Web, they are saying that the Black Galaxies are yet to be paid their winning bonuses or their qualification bonus, and um, the players um, are not really, really excited about that. Black Galaxies are yet to receive their bonuses for qualifying for the 2023 Championship of African Nations Tournament. And um, Ghana booked our qualification in September 2022 after beating Nigeria on penalties, ending a six year search for qualification to the tournament which is meant for local based players the tournament is a day away from starting but the playing body and the technical team are yet to receive their bonuses multiple reports indicate the team played four games in the qualifying round winning three and drawing one the team beat benin by four goals to no on aggregate before beating nigeria 5-4 on penalties after the tie ended 2-0 on aggregates ghana appeared in group c together with Madagascar, Sudan, and Morocco. But as I've already told you, Morocco has actually withdrawn or pulled out of the tournament which is going to happen in Algeria from tomorrow going. So according to Ghana Web, they say that the Black Galaxies team are not paid their deal bonuses. So what is actually contributing to this? Well, let's wait and see how things will go. But I've already brought an update that the team is not in Constantine and they are preparing for our first game on this Sunday, 15th January 2023 20, against Madagascar. With Morocco pulling out, Ghana will definitely be giving the three points um, together with all the other teams. So if Ghana will be able to get good results against Madagascar and also a good one against Sudan, I think we will just go through. This will give us more chance to qualify because uh, Morocco were the defending champions and they have also won it twice. They are a very good country in terms of football in on the African continent. So they have pulled out because of, you know, airplane issues, flight issues and other things. I've already brought it to you, the video before this one. So if you want more details, you can go and check it out. So these are the latest news. What do you make of it? Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This is Kini TV, and of course, we shall meet later.